Okay, so we got the typical generator doesn't run. It runs for a few seconds as long as you're spraying ether or starting fluid into the carburetor um, and then stops. Uh, willing to bet a 12 pack that it's this, it's the bowl inside the carburetor which is gummed up from fuel sitting in there. Even if you shut off the fuel petcock um, over here, it still winds up um, keeping fuel inside there. Best thing always is to run that stuff out, you know, uh, even after you shut the fuel off um, but there's a lot of times there's still fuel sitting in that in that bowl so let's see if that's the deal and uh, if I override a 12 pack or not um, so here we go uh, so in this case there is a drain here but I'm gonna go ahead and just take the whole thing off 10, mil 10 millimeter wrench on the bottom uh, to put something underneath to catch the fuel as long as the petcock's off, it's not going to run. It's kind of nasty and they're already good indication that that's the deal. Um, inside here is a, uh, there's a, uh, a jet, basically. So a lot of times you can just take a little something, a little wire, something like this or whatever, and uh, run it through there. Um, this is the quick and dirty method right now because normally I would take the whole carburetor off. I'm in a hurry. I want to get out there and start helping some folks that have the hurricane Helen came through here and just tore up everywhere so we're trying to set up a little mobile uh, station here so anyway let's see if this is what clears that out that so that's the jet a lot of times otherwise um, you can uh, blow some air in there if you have some but let's see if this is the deal I'm just running through all the orifices just some a little bit of uh, you know, wire in here and there is a uh, there's a regular standard screw in there that you could basically remove the whole jet if you want to. But I mean, it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean it out a little bit. Um, you could take if you have carburetor cleaner, that's great. If not, um, you can uh, just um, put some fuel in there even. Uh, so there is new fuel in here, and. Uh, Sorry, Brian. I actually am going to dip this nasty uh, toothbrush into your nice fuel just so I can clean this out real good. Um, and let's see if that's the deal. Put this back in and uh, see if that does the trick. So, careful because there is a gasket in there. Uh, you want to be careful when you're just taking this apart that you don't um, damage that gasket. Same thing, there's a little O-ring, kind of a seal on this uh, drain plug as well. So, put this baby back in. Tighten her up. That did it. Uh, is there a switch on this thing? The switch maybe turn it on and off. Indeed, there is. Turn it on, put it on choke.